We're talking anti-vaxxers. Where the hell are they now? <laughs> That's her hook. <laughs> But seriously, where are all the anti-vaxxers now that, you know, COVID's hit us? And do they not see the value in getting, you know, vaccinations against things that kill you? Or at least people, not you. I don't want you to die. Right now or no, just in general? No, just in general. Oh. I mean, let's, it's, what day is it? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. We've been stuck in this bunker for like a week now. I actually had that conversation this morning. Yeah? Because I woke up this morning mm-hmm. and because n- there's nothing going on except construction Function, above us. Yes, which is what happens when you're in a brand new bunker. No, this is great. That's obnoxious. It is. And it's just coming right to the studio. Well, I we, hope the audience loves it. Yeah. Uh, anyways, we're having the conversation. The only reason I know that it's Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> this is just too much, man. All what right. the hell? Maybe we should start this again. <sighs> but the only reason I know that it's Wednesday yeah. is because all my neighbors put their trash cans out. That's your day too, huh? Because mm-hmm. I knew I, I got out this morning. I was like, ah, crap, it's trash day because I'm the only one that didn't do it the night before. Yeah. And I'm the lazy one? No. I don't do it the night before. And I'm late. <sighs> I, I don't trust like... whippersnappers not coming around my neighborhood. and like dumping Hello. The trash. Exactly. Because I did the same stuff. I'm and not back say- then it was I those metal. I'm not saying that wham, I did the same wham, thing. Wham, 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 wham. I'm saying that I can imagine a scenario yeah. where somebody who looks an awful lot like me, just, you know, much, 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 much younger. younger. Yeah, being out with his buddies in the Could middle of the night. Could potentially be convinced to do something like that. Oh, and it doesn't take much. Maybe maybe reenacting scenes from Days and Confused. But this was <laughs> not your question. Your question was about anti vaxxers Yeah, where the hell are they now? Okay, look. This is how I view the world, right? right. The only reason you're talking about anti-vaxxers yes. is because there was nothing else to talk about at the time. What? When, they, when it was an important thing. Yes, and okay? they just couldn't... Okay. So, there were regulations passed here in Colorado that yeah. said... You could no longer send your kids to school without. in certain districts without them without presenting, yep. you know, the paperwork saying that, that, that they, mumps, that they had them, rubella, and right? measles. I think is the okay. big three. So if you are part of that group yeah. that is just vehemently against vaccinations, mm-hmm. your 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 opinions haven't changed, and you're really small. It's just too, that the media, wise. the news, isn't talking about it because there's other things to talk about. So I think if you actually came across one of those people, and, uh-huh. and again, if you stayed six feet away from them. Which I'm trying to do very much. Right? So if you stayed six feet away from them and you had the conversation, they would, be, they would have the same opinions today that they had, that they had the day before. right? Oh, I don't get because it, they though. don't think they see the same like, acuteness between what's happening right now mm-hmm. versus like vaccinations against polio. Right, because yeah. just like I, I think in general, the thing, when you're focusing on something, mm-hmm. then it matters. Right, but then when it goes away, you sort of forget, right? So you could have the same conversation Just about our society today, now. right? Uh, vis-a-vis, it's not it's not a great example, but it's a pretty good example, like nine eleven. So if you were around, we yeah, were, when, yep. Right when that happened, it's been twenty year, years, nineteen years, right? Yeah, it's been, it's been twenty a long years, time. right? So it's been a while. It's like we have something horrible it's every twenty years. It's not that we've forgotten; it's that we've prioritized certain things. We prioritize certain things today. Right in a different fashion than we did ten years ago, than we did you know ten minutes after it happened, right? So, I think the answer to your question is they're still there. They're just not they're keeping just their mouths not, shut. There's That's what no it is. microphone for them to speak into, like right. I'm speaking into this microphone. Yes, there's but no I bet platform you you could now. put a notice out saying that you wanted to speak to one of them, and I'd have an email and list, and you would for... have people that would respond. Absolutely, right. Because again, their their positions are still the same. It's just there isn't a megaphone. What I like is that um, they use all those essential oils and crystals to do their healing. You know? Yeah, it's the last thing a kid sees before they die. Now, are you a fan of crystals? No, no. I heard it actually sucks your energy out, and people try to steal it. Hey, listen, you talk to real crystals, people. They'll tell you there's some. You don't. You never touch a crystal. Just that's all I'm saying. You never touch a crystal. Did you ever see the movie Dark Crystal? Di- oh, love Dark Crystal. Squirrel. <laughs> That was a really freaky vault. movie. It was, especially for kids who were staring at that. I mean, it was truly terrifying. But Jim Henson was on But it was, was supposed to be a kid's movie. It was. It's really not. Right? I mean, it is. It's yeah. It's really not. And then there was the good and the light and those two elf things that were being used for their to keep the big vultures young. And yeah. It was just a weird show. They weird. made a uh, um, Can you vaccinate against dark crystals? Oh, man. Let's put that out to the audience you to ever... see if they answer it. Okay, so... Um, you guys are you 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 have a goal of having children? Me? Yeah. Yeah. You and absolutely. Your wife? Not you. That would be really weird. No, we're in. Right? Okay, you and your wife. Life. Okay, so when my wife and I had 
our first kid, mm-hmm. it wasn't even a discussion. It was just like, let's do this. So like they go in for they <laughs> you take the kids the video games. in for, you know, sequential doctor visits. Yeah. Right? Nurses come to your house and things like mm-hmm. that, right? You take them in. So I mean one of the things they have to prick their feet right. and then take a blood sample and right. they send it out to the state and they make sure that there's sure. nothing God wrong dang. with what they're doing. This or is fantastic. Their life. <laughs> but then there's like a schedule for them to get their vaccinations. Absolutely. It was never never even, a even would cross our mind. My wife's in healthcare too, and she would just be like, "Listen, we're getting, it's happening." You know? Yeah, because there's no there's no debate on it, you know. Because yeah. I don't want my kids, you know, if I ever have them, to get something that's easily preventable by a bunch of drilling upstairs. That's really awful. It is. You know, you think they would do this during hours where we didn't have real work to. Oh, well, we didn't have real work to do. <laughs> well, I mean, if you consider this work, then all right. I take my job very seriously. Thank you so much for Absolutely. doing that. Absolutely, because if I, I really appreciate would. it. <laughs> I'm here to put out content, buddy. Yeah. Even if it is just me talking into a microphone. So, yeah. Uh, I, There's no I th- question. Yeah. No question. So when we do have children, God willing, um, yeah, we'll be right on top of that from the moment that they're there. It's like I'm passing gas in a really bad way. You know, that kind of vibration you get. <laughs> they come out. Those really your, stinky does your, does your truck have leather seats or cloth seats? Cloth seats, man. Okay. Cloth so- seats. So, how often do you go home and just roll the windows down when you park your car in your garage? Well, um, because because of things that you were doing in the uh, on the. I made home. a no fart rule in the brand new truck. Did you really? Absolutely. You follow She's that? No, oh, absolutely. I will. I will hold it for that whole forty minute drive home. Right now, it's been like a twenty to thirty minute drive. I know it's in traffic. It's, it's amazing. Been fantastic with the lock in, shut down, whatever you want to call it. I was on. A, I was in a meeting yesterday morning yeah. when I was driving to work. Yeah. And I was so bored. Because I was just driving straight. Yeah. Fast. With no one there. I mean, I was following the posted yeah, speed limit. Yeah, of course we are. Because the Colorado State Patrol and the police have been all out asked for us. And the signs all say, obey the speed limit. Right. I clearly do that. All the time. So I was clearly doing that. But there's nothing to, there's no like puzzle to solve because <laughs> there's no cars. It's my car. So my, I was just driving yeah. straight. Okay. So, so I was in a meeting. I was on a Zoom meeting, right? So it's like connected to my yeah. car. Which I've seen you do. Yeah. And I just am whistling because I was bored. And the person that was on the other end of the meeting, we, there was kind of like a pause. There mm-hmm. were three of us on the call. And there was kind of like a pause as somebody was looking something up to just to verify. Yeah. And, and, and the other person on the phone goes, is somebody whistling? What's that whistling sound? I'm like, oh, that's it's me. The, I'm just radio. bored. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I go to change lanes in the morning now. And there, excuse me again. It's, I, I've been very full yeah, lately. See. Yes, and uh, I could have changed lanes. And usually, there's that, that mitigation system that says someone's in your lane. Don't get over. And I take a l- and nothing happens. They look behind me, and the lanes are wide you open. You bought that? It came with it. I had to get a trim level that got me all the four wheel off road stuff that I wanted because I love overlanding. I it's a hobby. Loathe that stupid. Oh, you can turn the button off, click, and it goes away. Okay, but you paid for it. Indeed. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so here's the deal. Whenever, I ha- whenever I'm watching television, mm-hmm. normally I'm watching sports, but I can't do that right now. So I watch much less commercials yeah, right. now because I'm just watching movies and other things. Mm-hmm. Okay, when those commercials come on and the dads are in the car or the yeah. guys are in the car and they can't freaking look at their surroundings and they need backup assist cameras and it's lanes and, and, they're, and so, so they're doing this and then and all of a sudden they drift over in the lane then it goes beep 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 and then I they turn go that one off. and then they go ah oh, okay you're a jack wagon if you don't know how to check the lane next I'm to sorry yes. if you're a man and you can't pay attention while you're driving you're a tool bag right. and you should be your license should be revoked it you can you, tell yes I you're have passionate an about, about this. right I he doesn't get like hate this often that stuff I absolutely I hate watching Visualizations, TV shows, yeah. movies, commercials, where where guys who are supposed to be responsible are portrayed as ignorant morons. And I will literally not buy your car <laughs> ever. If if, if, it's Jeep, got the mitigation. if Jeep ever makes that commercial, is. I am hosed. Because I'm gonna have to buy a bike. Because he's a life. He's a lifelong Jeep man too, oh, so you really I mean, hate it. I mean, you're passionate about. I that will one. never. Bu- there are there are at least four car brands that you won't buy that I will never buy. Name one. 
I don't know if I can. I, I want him to be a sponsor. Let's be careful. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, know. I'm, I, I want their money. Okay, there was one where this band, this isn't like a new thing, right? Yeah. So this is like a growing thing. So one car has been banned from, I will never own this car, nor will anyone in my family, while I'm alive, own this brand of car. Does it start with a V? No. Okay. So... There was a television commercial yes, long time ago, and it was played during a Super Bowl. And oh. it was like maybe in the, you know, the O's? Yes. What do you call those? The O's? The aughts. They used to call them the aughts. Back aughts. in the aughts. I think it was in the aughts. Yes. Maybe the late aughts. Yes. Maybe, the, maybe it was when the Steelers were playing in the late aughts. Yeah. I watched that game Super the other day. Bowl. Well, I mean, you got to have something to they watch. They beat the Cardinals. Wise. It was great. That catch, San Antonio Holmes' game. catch is still as still good today as it was when, when it was live. This is I mean, disgusting. I was screaming at the TV <laughs> while it was happening because it was an amazing catch, but this watching it now right. is awesome. Okay, there was a car commercial that was ran where people were getting pulled over yes. by the green police. Oh, dear God. The green police were pulling people over, and then the, this particular model of car this is just gross. drives up, right? And the smug tool bag that's driving it with his smug significant other sitting in the the passenger seat right and the the green officer looks at the the brand of car and waves it through disgusting i think i know which one you're talking about oh, i remember oh, this just just use google yes. it'll take You'll you five seconds it. to find it You'll find it we'll never buy that car because Ever number again. one no Number two, right, regulations and, and talking about, I don't care whether you're joking, talking about building a green police force to check the mileage rating on my car, right? Oh. You can go and shove, shove it that where right the sun up. don't mm. shine. Absolutely. Now, these are things tracking back to anti-vaxxers. <laughs> you're not hearing about anti-vaxxers, and you're not hearing me complain about a whole lot of cars because there's other things to talk about. Right, yeah. But you can clearly see... That my opinions is very strong in that when field. when the environment when it comes up yes my opinions have not changed okay which is a nice way to roll back into the question you asked me probably 15 minutes ago which where was? are all the anti-vaxxers yeah we still they? exist <laughs> because this guy right here is still not going to buy cars and the list just keeps getting bigger <laughs> it's not getting any smaller the morons I hate those commercials where the dad is just a dummy <sighs> yeah you can't. Freaking understand. Remember, it's an aid. It doesn't, it's not like a panacea to your bad driving, you know? No. It is not, but it's still a really interesting feature. It was actually the most distracting thing that it's I had when I first turned it on. Because every time I go to print on that blinker or somebody gets onto that right hand side, the sensor sees it and the little yellow light started. It freaked me out at first. I was not used to that kind of warning system. Really don't like it. But I do my have kids a really are, cool My kids are vaccinated. My, my, I don't have. Um, <laughs> my wife and I are yeah. vaccinated. My kids are Mine vaccinated. Are and I'm, there's, there, there are four car brands that I will never buy. Well, solid. Toyota was on my list, so. Toyota's fine. I like Toyota and I like Jeep. In fact, I like a lot of cars. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm going like really up- to be really upset yeah. because I consider myself yes. a man of principle. I'm but. I'm really upset if Jeep makes that commercial. Jeep, just please uh, stick to adventure. It's not a standard feature. Just please stick to adventure. That's your that's your stick. I right, almost bought a Jeep Wrangler because I was in love with that vehicle. I had been. It's a huge off road. I know. Capable thing, but Toyota's. I know. There's I, Tacoma's out I, there with a million miles. I had to sell my Jeep Wrangler Jeez. because oh the God. safety rating, the rollover rating for yeah. the Jeep Wrangler, is not as good as the rollover rating for the Grand Cherokee, which would make sense. Yeah, because it's right. an enclosed cab yeah. and all that fun stuff. But so, the kids aren't going to be small forever. Amen to that, brother. They're not going to be small forever. So that's that car that I've got that's sitting out in the parking lot, right? In a little bit, in a year, maybe a year and a half, yeah. things yeah. going away. Not because I don't like it. But you just want something but else. But because the car that I actually want is waiting for me on a lot. Oh, and it will be beautiful. It probably hasn't been built yet. And it will probably so have all this lane I'm change gonna mitigation stuff. I'm going to preemptively and it's be thank... The, the workers in the Jeep factory that probably in the next year, year and a half are going to assemble my Jeep with the loving care that I know that they will, they won't know yes. that I'm going to be buying it. But they will assemble it with the same loving care. And then when I purchase when get it, it... It's going to be a beautiful I'm day. Very, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to that, the sun shining on that, that day that Wonderful. I have it. 
Well, that's all the time we have for this subject, because we went from anti-vaxxers <laughs> to how we don't like safety features on cars. <laughs> it's one of those days. I'm Josh. I'm Keith. Thanks for listening in. This has been your... Your wife hates... This is, my, my wife hates everything I do. My wife loves me. Get out of my... Love you too, Get honey. out of my studio.